I was 16 years old when somebody gave me a Christian hip hop CD. They had a dude on the front cover, he had dreadlocks like mine, he had a red bandana going across his forehead, a red bandana going across his mouth, and the album was called Bloody Streets. And the dude that gave it to me told me it was Christian rap. And I said, listen, bro, I have no degree at Lifeway Christian bookstores, but this is not Christian rap. This man's about to rob a bank. He said, no, 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 this is Christian hip hop. You take it home. I was in a dark, dark place. I took that album home. I listened to the album front to back and the eighth song was a gospel presentation and I believed on Jesus listening to that album. I've been walking with him ever since. And I vowed to the Lord Jesus that I would spend my life trying to reproduce that moment for people all over the world like it happened to me. And it just dawned on me the gentleman behind me, Wes, who helped me to create this project, heard my album several years ago, believed on Jesus, and now he's helping me make records. So now, this is your moment, brother. <laughs> praise God, praise God. Yeah, 10 years ago, this brother released his debut album, Wait and Glory, and a friend of mine at work gave it to me, and it changed my life. I believed on Jesus when I heard that album. And I just want to say I'm a living, breathing testimony that God is working through this music. So this award is for all of us, all of the artists out there that continue to refuse to take Jesus out of your music so that you can be more successful. We see you and God sees you. Hey, God loves Christian rap, and I think y'all should too. Thank you. This is for Christian hip-hop, baby!